Well, my friends, let's go into take two. Um, technology sometimes is not your friend. And I know it because I work with it all day. So uh, if you're watching, let me know where you're watching and let me know if you can hear me. Um, now I am making sure that the sound is working correctly and that the mic is working. So let's see that it's okay. Let's make sure that you can actually hear me correctly. Let's make sure this is here. And I'm checking, okay. Okay, so it looks like the sound is okay now. Okay, so welcome to this Saturday webcast. And my name is Carlos Vargas, and thank you for connecting. And a lot of times I have been on webinars, presentations, you name it. And there is something that is very cool, video. You're watching me through video right now. But one of the challenges that sometimes happen is that people have a video somewhere else and they want to present it and it cannot be presented. Or people may be wanting to add a video from YouTube and they don't know how to add it. So in this session, what I will do is that I will share how you can add those videos and how you can automate it because that's the other key to automate uh, the videos that you have locally uh, or play the videos that you have on YouTube. So let's go for it. So right now you should be seeing my screen and I have a regular PowerPoint slide that actually you will add. And when you add another slide, you have the option that you can come to insert and you can click video and you can click online video. When you click online video, you have the option to add a YouTube video or you can add an embed code. And an embed code is something that different video providers give you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna search here for a video that I created. It's called Five Minute Countdown in Spanish. So I have one in Spanish and one in English. And when you go to look for that video, what that does is that that goes and that search by the title. So here's mine, so I will click on this one. And that will add it directly into your presentation. And then now you have it small. Doesn't mean that you need to keep it like that. Now all you have to do, you can move it and you can make it big to fit your full screen. And then we want to go into animations and when we click it, we want to make sure that we right click the video and there's this option here that says start. You want it automatically. And what that will do is that automatically when you go into presentation mode, that will start the video. Uh, so you can play it. So let me go real quick here. So we are already. So let me lower this volume so you can hear the other one that's gonna come up. So I'm gonna play now the video. Uh, it's switching me. No, I want it. I want it in the main monitor. So now you have a video inside your presentation directly that you can actually play it. And I will leave the links for, for this video and you can then automatically uh, you put that video in your presentation. So the second thing is how do you add a video that you have locally so it can play automatically? Very similar, you add an additional uh, template and let me look for a video here so we can have it. And what I will do is that I will go again insert video from my PC and what that will do is that that will add a video again here 
but I, I have a lot more control with the videos that I have on my PC. And I'm going to show you why is that. So I'm going to maximize it. Now, because this video is on my PC, I have the option to have complete control in how it's going to be animated. And one of the key things that we're talking about is that you want to be able to control it so your flow when it's presented is easy. So again, you add the video, you size it to your slide, and you go to animation pane. And the first thing that you see is that it gives you an animation that you're going to play when you click. That means an additional click that you have to do. All you have to do, you come to that animation, you click, and you select start with previous. And what that will do is that automatically when you slide start, it will start your video. So let me show you. I'm going to add a slide in between. I'm going to put here slide two. And now I'm going to start my preview. So I have my slide number two. And as soon as I switch to that slide, that automatically connect and actually start the video. So there you have it. This, those are two simple ways that you can actually add video to your presentation. So it will look more professional or your webinar. So you can control them and make sure that at the end of the day, it's simpler for you and you don't have to be fumbling from different screens and different things. So hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, just let us know.